Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health and today I wanted to talk about a uh, quick little way you can help work on tightness and tenderness in your adductors. Um, if you've got tight uh, pectineus muscles, if your high, high adductors seem to always jam up on you, this can be a very helpful uh, self-massage technique to help loosen all that up. So all you're going to need is a kettlebell. You can use a little small kettlebell. Um, this is just a 25 pound kettlebell. If you're uh, a bigger guy, bigger gal, and you have wider hips, you might even need to get a taller kettlebell, but usually a small one's going to be fine. And what you're going to do is you're going to lie down next to the kettlebell like you're the big spoon. This is the little spoon. You're going to take the top leg here. I'm doing my left leg here, and you're going to get to know your kettlebell very well. You're going to put your leg up and over so now the adductors are coming down into the handle of the kettlebell and the weight of the leg is basically causing you a little bit of discomfort. You're, you're going to be pushing, uh, you're effectively pushing into some very t dense and tight musculature and you're just going to hang out here. You're going to look for spots that don't feel particularly comfortable. Um, and you're going to avoid spots that make your leg go numb or spots where you, f you can actually feel the artery pumping up against the kettlebell handle. Okay, so you're just looking for actual muscle uh, sensations here. And you get to search around when you're doing this. So the, pretty much everything into the groin and all the way down to the knee is fair game. So uh, I'm going way up high into the groin here. And finding a nice tight spot there it even kind of relates to my medial hamstring and I just hang out there count to 10 if I'm feeling really really patient and um, you know ambitious I can hang out here and count to 30 and see what happens um, if you want to move further down and this can be very helpful um, you can start moving down into the mid thigh so I'm getting to about here now uh, there can definitely be some tie-ups that happen here that then affect you up into the hip. Um, I recently started training a guy who, uh, who was feeling a lot of hip flexor tightness and actually by working on the inner thighs all the way down towards the knee, down towards the adductors and loosening that stuff up, the hip flexor strain, the thing that felt like you know a dysfunctional hip flexor uh, actually resolves pretty much completely within a week just because he could resolve the tightness that was uh, causing some weird um, uh, compensatory uh, muscular compensation patterns. Say that three times fast. Now, as you go down closer to the knee, you may feel like you're not getting that much pressure uh, on the adductors, which makes sense because you're you have effectively less weight coming down on it So what you can do is take your your hand and then just press down give yourself that extra little oomph onto the kettlebell handle so you can get into the uh, Into the adductors there of course if this hurts a lot, please back off. Don't push super hard You're just trying to give yourself a massage meaning you're trying to teach these muscles to relax gradually. They do not have to relax everything today, this time, or whatever. Just take your time with it. They will gradually learn to relax more and more. So just think of this as a, as a progression, as a, as a process, um, rather than like a one-time fix. Now, something else you can do while you're in this position is to actually start practicing a little bit of internal rotation. So this helps um, train the adductors to stay out of the way so that you can actually get some internal rotation without the adductors jamming up. So if you're somebody who sent an email recently or a message recently asking about internal rotation things, this is definitely one of the things that can help you. Okay, so hopefully that uh, hopefully that's pretty clear. If you found this useful, uh, please subscribe to the Upright Health YouTube channel. And uh, please remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.